Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make, again, because I'm updating this tutorial, my narwhal design. So, um, this is a design I made, I think it's like one of the first three Lumigurmi tutorials I did on my channel. And I went back and I looked at the comments because I finally wrote down the pattern. And a lot of people were complaining saying I need to fix this tutorial. And I probably need to fix the first, um, probably like five or ten tutorials I did. Just because I've gotten better at making tutorials. Um, my quality has improved and all that. Um, so yeah, I'm updating the narwhal tutorial. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is probably one of my favorite designs, or maybe it's just one of, like, it means something to me kind of designs, because it is one of the first designs I did on this channel, and I don't know, it's, it's, it's a good design. Um, but yeah, so this is the design. Um, this is the one we'll be making today. Uh, I think it looks slightly different just because of the bands I used. These bands I used were Wonderloom, these are Rainbowloom. Still looks cute either way. I also finally have a pattern for it, so if you've been waiting for the pattern for this guy, um, it is in the description. I also just want to mention, in case the lighting looks a little weird, uh, I'm trying something different today with the lighting to see if it's better, if you guys can see better. Compared to my other tutorials, let me know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, uh, I forgot to do the band count on these guys, yet again. So, uh, I'll pop the bank count in the description, so if you check the description, you'll see the bank count for the narwhal. I just forgot to do it before I started filming, and now I'm filming, so it's a little late, but yeah. This is actually a super simple design because we pretty much attach everything except for the eyes and horn during the design, and if you use safety eyes, you know, you don't have to worry about the eyes. Um, and yeah. So I think that's it. I guess we'll get started. Um, like I said, now I'll have the dis the the pattern in the description if that's what you want to see. And today for my narwhal, I'm going to be using white for the bottom, just like I did in the other two. I forgot to put my bands out. I always do this, where I forget to put my bands out. And then for the main narwhal, I'm just going to be using a mix of um, different pastel bands, just because. Just I didn't know what color to make my narwhal, because I've already done a whole rainbow. So I was like, I don't know, but I just decided to do like a mix of pastels. Um, so yeah. So get your stuff, and then we'll get started on these guys. They're also super fun to squish. Um, I usually stu my, stuff my designs with cotton balls, but I like stuffing these guys with polyfills because they're super squishy when you stuff them with polyfill. Um, they still work with cotton balls. I've done them with cotton balls, but to me, they, they're just cuter if you put polyfill in them. Unrelated, just a note. Okay, so to start, uh, well, I forgot. Also, you're going to need a hook. Um, obviously, we're doing Lumigurmi. I'm using my double-ended hook just because I like this hook, but you can use any hook. Um, you're also going to want something to mark your rows. I'll be using a C-clip today, but you can use anything you have. If you have a stitch marker and you like using a stitch marker, you can use that. Um, I just always use a C-clip. And yeah, so we're about to get started. I'm just picking up some bands. Like I said, the pattern, the band count, and everything else in the description. And yeah. I think this is also a really good design for a beginner because... It's fairly simple. So if you're new, this could be a good design for you. Um, yeah, it's taking me a second to pick everything up. Okay, but to start, we're just going to wrap a band three times around our hook. So one, two, three. I feel like this lighting is so harsh. Um, basically, because I mentioned my lighting is different. Well, I fixed the lighting, I'll tell you. Um, my ring light, I realized it has a stand in the middle, and I'm like, maybe that's how I'm supposed to use it, because usually... I just set it to the side, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is better. I'm just testing it out. Um, so yeah, you're going to wrap a band three times around your hook, and then you're going to pull a band through, put both ends back on your hook, and then you're going to push the back loop over the front loop. Then you'll go back into the cat band, pull a band through just the cat band, so not this last loop. And then you'll push the back loop over the front loop. And then you'll push the loop from last time over as well. And now we're going to be doing three more stitches just like the one we just did. So I'll show you again. So we'll go through the cat band. You'll pull a band through the whole cat band. And just not the last loop. You'll put the back one over the front one. And then you'll put the loop from last time over as well. So we're going to do that exact same thing two more times. So we have five loops in the cat band. So it's technically... 
what is it, like a magic ring with five stitches in it if you've followed other people's tutorials. But yeah. Okay, and then once you're pretty sure you have five stitches, you're just going to want to count to make sure. So you'll start by counting the one on your hook. So one, two, three, four, and five. Like that. And then instead of going into the cat band, we're going to go into the very first loop. We'll do the same thing, but this time we'll just pull it through just a loop. We'll put both ends on our hook, push the back one over the front one, and then we'll push the loop from last time over as well. And then we'll be putting a C-clip on this band. So now for the next row we are going to be increasing everything and what that basically means is every stitch we do is going to be an increase. And what an increase is basically is it's instead of putting one stitch per loop, you put two stitches per loop. Um, I'll show you what I mean by that in case you're confused, but yeah. It always takes me so long to pick up bands. I also am not really putting these in like on my wall in any order, I'm just trying not to um, put like two in the same spot. Okay sure we're focused. So this loop already has one stitch in it but because we're increasing everything we're gonna go back into that stitch and we're gonna do another stitch and then we'll go into so as you can see that's an increase because it has two stitches in the one loop so I'll show you again. So we go into the stitch we make one stitch and then we go back in do another and that's an increase. So that's all we do all the way around is we just put two stitches in each loop. So you just go into a loop, do one stitch, then you go back in and you do another stitch. And we just do this until we get to the C loop. Like that. Then once you get to the C-clip, you're just going to make a stitch on the band that has the C-clip on it. And then you'll take the C-clip off the loop it's on and you'll put it onto the loop that's on your hook. So now if you count around, you should have 10 loops. So if you count, you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And what we're going to be doing the next row is we're going to be increasing every other stitch. So we're going to do like a single stitch and then an increase is the way I like to think about it. I'll show you what I mean, but we just do single stitch, increase, single stitch, increase until we get to the C-clip. And I am picking up bands yet again. I always am picking up bands. Okay. I don't want to have two of any of the same colors next to each other, and that's why it's taking me a little longer. But it's worth it for the pastel narwhal. Okay. That took me a second. Okay, so like I said, we're increasing every other now. So this first one's going to be our single stitch, the one with the seagull on it. And then we'll go into the next loop. And then we'll do an increase. So remember, we make two stitches in the same loop. And then we'll do a single stitch. So we only make one stitch in the loop. And then the next one, we'll do an increase. So we do two stitches in this loop. And we just alternate between doing one and two stitches per loop until we get back to the C-clip. So that was two, so we do one. And then we do two stitches. And always remember, you can pause at any time in my tutorials. Uh, I feel like I loom a little faster than probably if I was a beginner, but um, I, I don't know. I don't see the point in going slow sometimes. But yeah, we just do single stitch and then increase. And we're almost at the C-clip. And then once you get to the C-clip, you'll just make a stitch on the band that has a C-clip on it. And you'll move the C-clip. You'll take the C-clip off the old band and move it onto the new one that's on your hook. And that is it for this row. So after this row, you should be at... 16 stitches, so we'll count around and make sure we have 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Why do we have 15? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
Wait, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Why do I have 15? Hold up, let me make sure I did everything right. Okay, so I double checked and I did it right. I just have 15 this time, but I would say one thing. So I think we're supposed to have 15. Maybe I messed up when I did this normal and accidentally had an extra stitch and had 16. That being said though, if you have 16 loops right now and you're like, oh no, I have 16. For this design, it's probably fine. It's not gonna be a big deal. This guy has 16 loops, he looks fine. This one's gonna look fine with 15. I think I messed up on this guy because it was when I was making it and writing it in the pattern. I was like, why do I have 16 loops? I should have 15 loops. I probably messed up on this guy. So you're supposed to have 15 loops, but if you have 16, not a big deal, just leave it, it's fine. So I should have picked up bands while I paused, but I did not, so I'm picking up bands now. Um, also, just on a note, uh, if you've watched my other tutorials and you're watching this one, and let me know what you think of the lighting. <laughs> I feel like you can see what I'm doing. I just want to know if you guys like this lighting better than my other tutorials or if it's worse and you're like, go back. Um, let me know. I know right now it probably looks weird because it's all washed out because I'm not in the camera, but um, yeah. Okay. So now we're going to be increasing every third. So we're going to do two single stitches and then an increase and then two single stitches and then an increase. So on the third loop, you increase is my... Logic. So this is one. The one on your hook with a C-clip is one, two. So you just do a single stitch. So we did two single stitches. And now we're going to be doing an increase. So do an increase. And remember, all an increase is is you put two stitches in one loop. So we're going to repeat that again. So we're going to do two single stitches. So one, two. And then on the third loop, once again, we'll increase. And we just keep doing this. So we'll do two single stitches and then an increase all the way around until we get to the C clip. So one, two, do an increase. One, two, and I need more bands. <laughs> this this is looking to be really cool colors though. Wow. Um, I'm just making sure I didn't mess up. I don't know what's up with me lately, but I've always- Lately I've been losing track of when I increase. Like, I'll be like, did I do two stitches or one? <sighs> I don't know why. But I'm just picking up some bands. You're probably still looming because <laughs> you don't take forever to pick up bands. Um... Okay. How did I pick up two of the same color? Just get a random pick one. Okay. Uh, what was I doing last? Increase. Do one. Two. Then we do an increase. And then we should be back at the C-clip. So once you're at the band that has the C-clip on it, you're just going to make a stitch on the band that has the C-clip on it and move it up. So after that last row, I think we should be at 20 loops. So let's count around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh my god, I can't count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think I do have twenty. Let me just double check. Okay, I have twenty loops. So, yeah, twenty. Okay. So now it's gonna get a little bit repetitive for two rows. So we're gonna do two rows normal. Where we're just gonna do single stitches all the way around until we get back to the C clip. And after each of these two rows, you should still have twenty stitches. So we're just gonna do two rows of single stitches. And I'm going to stay on probably for both the rows because, uh, because why not? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll stay with you for this one. Okay. So like I said, we're just going to do two rows of single stitches. So we're just doing 
single stitches all the way around. This part's pretty simple because you just do one stitch per loop and we just go around. And we right I pulled my hook out on accident, that's what happened. Okay. Oh my face is itchy suddenly. I'm trying to think of the day I think to talk about I can talk about while we do these two rows. I thought about going off camera, but I think I can just do these two quickly. Um Yeah, I don't know what to talk about. Uh, I went to church today, even though it's a Tuesday, because the bishop came to our church and did mass, and it's going to be on TV, and no one has any idea why he did mass at our church to put on TV, but he did. Well, it was the most random thing, <laughs> and I just thought it was funny, because I think I really don't look my age, because um, I helped at the mass or whatever, and then afterwards he comes up to me and he's like, did you skip school for this? And I'm like, no, I'm in college, and he was like, oh. It happens all the time where people think I'm like way younger and I'm like, no, I'm in college. So that's why I'm here. And that's why I'm doing things at times where normal kids would be in school, but I am in college. <laughs> and I just always think it's funny that no one can guess my age. So, yeah. I also thought it was funny the other day because I like posted the cat noir tutorial, right? And then I get a comment and it's like, can you make more tutorials? I'm like, bruh, I literally posted one yesterday. I just think it's funny. I know all you would probably want me to do t tutorials like daily if I could, but it's a lot of work. Well, it's not, it's not a lot of work. It's just finding the time to film because I do need like put probably like an hour, two hours of my time just free. So yeah. But that was one row, so like I said, we're going to do one more row just like that, where we just do one stitch in every loop, so all single stitches, until we get back to the C-clip. And if you count around after this row, you should still have 20. I'm not going to count because I know I have 20. But, yeah. Yep. Oh, I can't pick up bands. I keep dropping them. Okay. You know, I've been thinking I really need to get back to some of the designs like I started designing and then just like abandoned. Because I have a tendency to do that. Like I'll just make something and I'll be like, yep, I'm done. Mm. Yeah. I'm hoping to finally start on my art portfolio this week. I haven't started because I have been stuck on like ideas and things. But hopefully this week. I'll start my art portfolio, and we'll see how it goes. You know what's also fun? My birthday is next month, in almost exactly a month. Um, I'll be 21, which is ridiculous. I don't feel that old, <laughs> uh, which is cool. I always never know what to ask for when people are like, what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, I don't know. Um, these really specific art supplies that are super hard to shop for if you're not an artist or an art person. So, that's one of the bad things about honestly being like kind of like an art major or whatever. I always feel weird calling myself an artist, so I just usually go with art major. Um, but, it's like, whenever I want, the stuff I want is like, extremely specific. And it's so hard to, 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 like, for my grandma, and she's like, oh, what do you want? And I'm like, ah, yes, this really specific set of markers. And I don't get, I don't tell anyone to buy me, like, the expensive stuff, but it's always just so hard because it's like, ah, yes, this one thing, and, yeah, it's all, it's always just so specific. Maybe I'll just ask for bands from everybody. <laughs> Even though I don't need bands, well, I need a few colors. I always, um, what do you call it? I always only need specific colors lately, so, yeah. Okay, but I think we're done with the two rows. Um, I just finished the last one, and it should be looking something like this. Something like this. And you should still have 20 loops if you count around, so let's double check. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
And we have one last row in the in this color. So we're going to be doing the row that adds the fins and the tail. And it's actually not that hard at all. It's super simple. And yeah. So I'm just going to pick up some more bands before we get started on that row. And yeah. I hope your narwhal is coming out good so far. Um, I hope I'm explaining better. I've been trying to explain more like in detail this tutorial too. Just in case... Um, anyone's new because this this is a design I would recommend for beginners because it's super easy and also there's not a lot of attaching because basically all we attach at the end is this and then the eyes so yeah okay so for this row we're going to be doing one row normal so we're not going to be doing any increasing or anything but we are going to be adding the fins on some bands so these next two rows are probably the most complicated rows in this whole design okay uh, I had to pause my, I had to restart filming because I noticed my camera was about to time out, but yeah. So what we're going to do is we are going to start adding the tail pretty much right away. So this C-clip one's the first band. We're going to add the tail on the second and third loops. So to start the tail, you're just going to pull a band through the loop, put both ends back on your hook. And then instead of putting the back one over the front one, we're going to pull another band through everything on our hook. Put both ends back on your hook and then push the back one over the front one. And then we're going to go back into the chain, the loop we chained. So this purple loop, well, it's purple for me, is basically we chained up one. So we're going to go back into that and we're going to pull a band through just the purple loop. So just the band we chained, not the last one. And then we're going to push the back one over the front one. And then we're going to push the loop from last time over. And then we're going to want to put five stitches in total in this chain. Um, I just did two, so we're going to have to do three more. And all you do is you just pull it through the loop, you, the, the chain, push the back one over the front one, and then push the loop from last time over as well. And we just need to do that two more times. So one. And then two. And then one, after that, you just finished one tail. So we're going to do that again to make... Because he has like this little two tail thing. So in the next loop, we're going to go in. We're going to pull up a band Well, through this loop. Put both ends on our hook. And this is going to be the one we used to chain up, like the loop from last time. And then once again, we'll be putting five stitches in this one. But the first stitch you do, you want to pull it through everything on your hook. And then put the back one over the front one. And then we'll go back into this chain and we'll just do four stitches. And only on the first one do you pull it through everything on your hook. After that you pull it through just the loop and then push the back one over the front one and then the loop from last time over. I hope I'm making sense. This tail is the most difficult part. And if you're having trouble understanding, I have it written in the description if that's easier for you. But that's it for the tail. So there's basically five loops in each of these. And then we did slip stitches at the start and ends just to make it look cleaner. So we're going to go into the next loop. And because we're ending off the tail, we're going to basically want to slip stitch. So we're going to pull a band through everything on our hook. And then we'll push the back one over the front one. Like that. Um... So after the tail, okay, we're going to do four single stitches. So th this is going to count like the first one. <laughs> I'm just double checking something. Okay. So this is going to count as the first single stitch, even though it was a slip knot stitch. And we're going to do one single stitch, two... And then we're going to want to do one more, so we have four single stitches. We include the one we did the tail thing with. And I need to pick up more bands. <laughs> also, sorry if I pause a little there. I heard my dad say, oh, I'm going to go check on um, Ginger or whatever. And I was like, oh, I'm filming. But he did not walk in because he saw my door closed. And I rarely close my door, so he knows I'm filming. Okay. Okay. 
So, like I said, we're doing four single stitches. So it's one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna do another fin. So to do the fin, once again, we're gonna chain up one. So we're gonna pull a band through just a loop, both ends on our hook. Then we're gonna pull another band through everything on our hook. And then push the back one over the front one. And then we'll go back into the chain and do only three more stitches. So one. And to make a stitch, all you do is you just pull it through just the chain, put both ends on your hook, push the back one over the front one, and then push the loop from last time over as well. We're gonna do that one more time. And then that'll be it for the fin. So there's technically only four stitches in this one. So one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go into the next loop. We're gonna pull a band through everything on our hook. And then we're gonna push the back one over the front one. And now we're gonna wanna do Okay, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble reading my pattern, but I wrote it down weird. Um, and now we're going to do eight single stitches, and then we're going to do the other fin. So this is one. This will be two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Actually, I think we only do seven single stitches. I think I wrote it down wrong. Sorry. Yeah, let me see. Okay, yeah, so we only do seven single stitches. I'm sorry I had that wrong. Okay. So we just did several, seven, several, seven single stitches across the front. So we have one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're gonna do another fin. So once again, we'll chain up one. And then we'll pull a band through everything on our hook. Put the back one over the front one. And then we'll just do three single stitches in this chain. So one, two, three, and then we're gonna go into the next stitch, pull a band through everything on our hook, and then put the back one over the front one. And now we're just gonna do single stitches until we get to the C-clip. Okay, and then once you get to the C-clip, I don't want it to be purple. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just changing my band colors. Once you get to the C-clip, um, instead of going through the full C-clip loop, we're only going to go through the front half, and we're also going to be switching to white. So you're going to want to get your white bands. So, like I said, instead of going through the full, it's kind of hard to see because of the C-clip, but let me show you. Let me show you what this loop on the tail. Basically, what we're going to do right now is, you see how there's two parts of this? Instead of going through the full thing like we usually would, we're only going to be going through the front half. So for the C-clip, the band with the C-clip on it, you're only going to want to go through the front half. And then you're going to pull it through everything on your hook. And then push the back one over the front one. And then we'll be moving the C-clip up onto this band. So, now your narwhal should be looking something like this. Um, so that was a pretty confusing row. Um, kind of hard to recap what we did, but we did seven single stitches and then basically four, four, and then tails and fins. And this next row I kind of already explained to you when we switched the colors to the white, but we're basically only going to be doing what I like to call a half row, where we only grab half the loop instead of the full loop, and we're only going to be grabbing this um, inner half, I guess. But it's kind of hard to do that with the tails and stuff because we chain up, so what we're, where we're going to go in for the tails is you see this loop underneath that the that is chained up on? We're gonna only want to grab the inner half of that loop, so it's kind of hard, but only the inner half. And we're also in white for the rest of this design. So once again, you're gonna see where this is chaining up. And you're only gonna grab the inner half. Yeah. 
You're also going to want to be careful at these edges here where we, um, like, slip knot and stuff because it's going to look like, um, some of them are loops, but they're actually loops we did for the tail. So all the loops we did for the tails and fins, we're going to be ignoring, um, we're only going to do the loops that were, like, either single stitches or the one loop under the fins. So this is actually my first single stitch right here. And like I said, we're only grabbing the inner half of the loops. And once again, once you get to the fins, we're going to do the same thing we did before where we go, we see where the chain is and we just grab the inner half of this one. And you see, this might look like it's the first single stitch, but I can tell that this is where I slip stitch. So this is actually the first single stitch. And it's easy. Well, it's pretty easy going across the front here. I'm just grabbing more white bands. Okay. Now once, once again, once we get to the fin, we're going to see where the chain is, and then we're going to go through only the inner half of that band. And what all we're doing is we're just going on all the single stitches and then the bands under the fins, and we're just grabbing the inner half and making single stitches. And then once you get to the C-clip, we are pretty much done with a half row, so we can just go through the full loop on the one that has the C-clip on it. Make a stitch. And move it up. So now we should be back at 20 loops if you count around. So let's do a quick crown around. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I had to pause for a second and drink water because that was a lot of talking and my voice was like, eh. But, yeah, so after that row, which were, those two rows were basically the hardest two rows of this whole design. Now it's pretty simple. So we're going to do one row normal again where we just do single stitches all the way around until we get back to the C-clip. And we're going through the full loop again, and for the rest of this design, until we decrease, we're going to be going through the full loop. Um, it was just for that one row that we go through half the loop. I don't know if my camera's focused. There we go. But we're just doing single stitches all the way around. hear my family <laughs> talking really loudly so sorry if you can hear them I'm guessing my dad's done with work for today because I hear him um talking I don't know if all your guys' parents are still working from home mine are uh well only my dad works and he's working from home sometimes still he goes to work some days of the week but some, most of the time he's just home so yeah doing single stitches until we get to the C-clip. I'm really loving this pastel normal. You know what Rainbow needs? Pastel sparkly bands. They would take my whole wallet if they made those because oh, they'd be so pretty. I also really want them to make frost bands like so bad. I've said this I don't know how many times but frost bands would be amazing. I know they have tie-dye bands, but it would be cool if they did, like, marbled bands where it's, like, that swirly pattern. Ugh. See, I have so many ideas. Rainbow Loom needs to hire me as their idea person for bands. I don't know if it's just me, but, like, I wouldn't mind if they would, like, retire maybe some of the other colors, like, the colors they've had for a while and put out new ones. 
I don't know. I just, I really wish I would make new bands. Okay, so once you get to the C clip, you're just going to make a stitch on the band that has a C clip on it. And move it up. So if you count around after the last row, you should still be at 20 loops, so we'll count around. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's 20, I just forgot one to count. Okay, <laughs> so now for the next row, we are going to start decreasing. So we're going to be decreasing every third, so we're going to do two single stitches and then a decrease, and I'll show you what a decrease is. So this is the first single stitch. This will be two. And then on the next loop, we're going to do a decrease. And all a decrease is, is you're going to grab the inner part of one band and then the back part of the next loop. And then you'll just make a stitch. So I'll show you that again. So once again, we're going to do two single stitches. So one, two. And then we'll do a decrease. So you'll grab the inner part of one loop then the back part of the next loop, and then you'll make a stitch. And then we do two single stitches. So one, two. And then we decrease again, so inner part of one loop, back part of the next loop. And we do two single stitches, which I can do if I had enough bands on my hand. Oh gosh, my parents have the music really loud in the living room. I really hope you can't hear that. I'm gonna have to keep talking so that way you can't hear it. I hate when they put it loud. Um, but yeah. Okay. Second single stitch. And then we're gonna decrease. My god, they really put that music on loud. I'm praying you can't hear it. <laughs> oh, and then we do two single stitches. My god, they have it so loud, I'm really praying you can't hear it, because then I have to refilm, and I'm like, no! Um, and we decrease. And then once you get to the C-clip, you're just going to make a stitch on the band that has the C-clip on it, and move it up. So now, if you count around, you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You should have 15 loops. Okay, so you should have 15 loops, and we're going to do one more row and then we'll stuff it, and honestly right now if you're using safety eyes, you're probably going to want to put those in. I use beads, so I'm going to put mine in at the end, but if you have safety eyes, now is the time. But now we're going to be decreasing every other loop, so we're going to do a single stitch, a decrease, a single stitch, a decrease. So this is our first single stitch, so the next one will be a decrease. And then we'll do a single stitch. And then we'll decrease. It's kind of hard to show you me decreasing because we're starting to get a little tighter. So single stitch. And a decrease. Single stitch. And then decrease. I'm literally talking just in case you can hear the music so hopefully I'm drowning it out. <laughs> Uh, oh, single, and decrease, and then we're back at the C-clip, so once you get back to the C-clip, once again, you'll just make a stitch on the band that has a C-clip on it, and move it up. And if you count around now, you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You should have 10 loops. And like I said, now you're going to want to stuff him. I like to stuff my narwhals using polyfill, just because I think it, um... It makes them squishier, I don't know. And you can take your hook out to stuff it. As long as you don't pull on it too much, your C-clip should hold it. Now we gotta stuff him. I don't know how much stuffing I need. I'm just shoving some in. Probably not this much. Yay. So we actually do two rows decreasing every other. I just wanted to tell you 
to stuff it, but we're gonna decrease every other for this row again. So we're gonna do, this will be our first single stitch and then the next one will be a decrease. And we just alternate between single stitches and decreasing, just like we did last row, we do that again. So single stitch and a decrease. Sorry, I'm picking up bands. It's a decrease. So single stitch. And a decrease. A single stitch. So the one with the C clip on it should be a decrease, but if you can around right now, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You should have seven loops. And um, on the band with the C-clip on it, we're just going to take the C-clip out at this point because for the next row, we just decrease everything until it's closed. So we're just going to decrease everything until it's closed. You literally just do decreases until you literally can't anymore. So this will be my last decrease. So I'll pick the very last decrease up on my hook. And then I'll pull a band through everything on my hook, put the back one over the front one, and then we'll pull really tight. Well, not like super tight, but just tight enough so it won't slip off. And then we'll go up into the normal. We'll pull it down in. And he's done. <laughs> well, we have to put the eyes and the horn, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, I had to cut up my video again because it was about to time out and I was like, oh no, we're so close to being done. But here's the narwhal. I don't know why he looks like he's glowing on the bottom. Let me hold him upside down so you can see him better. Well, I guess you can't really see him better. We'll just like have to, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so now we just need to do the eyes and the horn. So you're gonna want beads if you use beads. I always use beads, so I have beads. And if you don't know how to put beads on a string, you're just gonna want a piece of string or floss. I like using dental floss because it doesn't really fray out too much. And then you'll just put your bead on the floss. We'll get a band. You'll put it on the floss as well. And then you'll just fold this over. And then you'll thread it back through the bead. And then you just pull it through. And there we go. And now we're going to just tie it in. So I usually put my eyes, I'm going to put this one right here, I'll put the other one like right there. I usually put them really close to the fins, and on this very last bit before the, before the white, so really low. But you can put your eyes wherever you like. This is just where I personally like putting my eyes. Just hide the tail. There we go, he's got one eye. I'm gonna go right here. We'll do the other eye. Yay. So for the horn, it's really simple. So we're gonna need some more white bands. And to start, we're gonna double some bands on our hook. We're going to get two bands, so this is not one band, this is two bands. We're going to double them, and then we're going to get both these loops and wrap them around again, so it's wrapped around four times, so that's two bands wrapped around four times. And then we're going to get two more bands, we're going to double them, and then we're going to pull the cat band onto these bands, and it's going to be really tight. Um, it's kind of hard for me to get it all over. There we go. And then put both ends back on your hook. So that was the first one, and we're going to want to chain it up two more times, so we're going to get two more bands, double them, pull this on, and then both ends back on. We'll do that one more time. So we just have a double band, and then we chained up four, well not four, three double double bands, you can kind of see it. And then we'll just get a band, pull it through everything, and we'll use this band to tie it into our narwhal. I usually put the horn right up here. 
we just tie it in. And usually automatically wants to stick up, so shouldn't be a problem. And that's it. And you, I hope your narwhal turned out okay. So after you tie on the horn, you're literally done. Um, like I said, this is a super simple design. It comes together really quickly just because it's pretty easy. So if you make a narwhal, definitely share it with me on Instagram. I would love to see your narwhals and how they turn out and what colors you do and all that. Um, subscribe if you want to see more tutorials from me. I have some new things coming. Um, I honestly don't know what I'm doing next. Uh, I think I might do Queen Bee next. If not, I'm thinking the clownfish designs if you've seen the clownfish on my Instagram. So yeah, subscribe if you want to see any of that. Um, in the description I'll have my Instagram as well as my Etsy in case you want to buy anything from me. <laughs> or you just want to check out my Instagram, I don't know. It's all there. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I guess I will see you soon in another tutorial. But <laughs> I'm gonna go for this one. Bye.